Hi, you're right, guys. Welcome to October 2023. And for this collaboration, I am making a full English breakfast in my slow cooker. Follow along. This has been put on by uh, Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen and Kettle Kitchen. Crock pot slow cooker in the UK is a more uh, more general term. Now before we get going all the ingredients, a little bit of a backstory to this one. A video of a full English breakfast went viral. It's got to be five years ago now or more and lots of people copied it and some people said they couldn't do it, some people said it's impossible, some... Everybody who did it, they either, the videos either didn't look right or it's a total failure and it was normally the eggs. I'll show you some pictures of the eggs in a minute. So I've had a think, I mean, nobody has bothered to try to do it better. No one's tried to improve it. And as, you know, Yoda says, try not, do or do not, there is no try. So I got my thinking cap on and I thought, how can I make this better? You know, all the ones that have failed, I've done it with an eight hour slow cook overnight. So when they wake up in the morning, they've got a nice breakfast and it's been on low heat. So I'm thinking, well, why eight hours and why low heat? If you had high heat, you could do it for less time. But nobody's going to get up at four o'clock in the morning to put their slow cooker on. So why not use a timer? If you've got a mechanical cooker, you know, knobby type cooker, you can use this. If you've got electronic type uh, slow cooker, you can set the time anyway. So that just didn't ring true to me. So I played with that. And then I thought, well, the ingredients need different cooking temperatures and things like that. So I was playing around with my proper crock pot, you know, the one we've all got, the big black one with a glass lid, you know. Then I remembered I got this one on my gadget rack and it's three slow cookers in one. And I'll bring it out in a second and show you. Just before we get going, there's a, a live giveaway on the 2nd of November and that'll be on uh, Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen's channel. I'll put all the times and the details in the description because it's a lot to read out, okay. So on with my ingredients then. We've got some pork sausages, some bacon, mushrooms, tomato, tinned tomatoes, tinned baked beans, and a bit of butter to grease things up with, and a white pudding. I'm using white pudding because you probably don't know it, but um, black pudding is banned in America, so I'm doing white pudding. I prefer it to tell you the truth, it's spicier. So let's get rid of this lot. I'll bring out the slow cooker and we'll chat through my thought processes. All right. Okay then, so this is my triple bowl slow cooker. It is a slow cooker, but it's also great for when you've got a, a you know, evening with your mates around and you've got a Chinese dish and you can put all your rice in that one, your noodles in that one. It's a bit like what you see at a small hotel in the breakfast bars, you know. Lovely bit of kit, I mean, you know, well made. So these are quite small, they're only one and a half litres each, but there's three of them. And each has got its own temperature control, high, low and warm. So I'm thinking, you know, do the fryy bits in one, do the, the beans and tomatoes in another and the eggs in another, you know, so it got me going. Now, when you look at the videos, a lot of people have trouble with their sausages because they stand them up and the bottom of the sausage is all greasy and the top is as hard as you like. Same with the bacon. So I thought, well, why stand them up? We're cooking them for three or four hours now. So I made a little trivet out with some quarter inch stainless mesh lay the sausages flat on there. So that's that. And the same with the eggy one. Now what I've done with the eggs, I'll show you these horrible pictures of the eggs they made. I'm doing omelettes. And I just made up a load of one egg omelettes, a little bit of cheese in it, and froze them in a little tiny pan. Freeze them in the freezer. And they go great in here to defrost and cook in the three or four hours. And in the middle one, we're going to do the, uh, the beans and the tomatoes and that sort of thing. So I think the best thing to do, get this thing out of the way and get everything going. Right, I'm going to work over this, guys. It's going to look a bit awkward, but it's only a small table, you know. So first off, the easy one, the beans and the tomatoes in the middle. Now, why put your beans in a cup on the hot bottom? Why not put them in hot water? So I'm going to put some water in here. So about an inch deep, yeah. And why put the beans in a cup? You've got a perfect container here. Just take the label off. 
There we are. Give it a quick shake up. Off with the lid. And what we're going to do before we put it in, a little bit of foil over the top. And all this is going to do, oh, we can noise that. A little bit of foil on the on the tins because um, the water will go steamy. The steam will hit the lid. The, the water will drop into the beans, won't it? So there we are. Just keep that like there. And exactly the same with the tomatoes. These are chopped tomatoes. Okay, quick shake up. Off with the lid. Right, so that's that one sorted out. Lid on. Right, next up, let's do the sausages and bacon. Now what you'll do for this, what I want, two sausages, that'd be enough, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's only a little old mealer. Oh. Oh, let's go to town, let's have three. <laughs> All I'm going to do, a little bit of oil on the plate. I'm just going to oil the sausages a little bit, just to stop them drying out. So nobody else has done this. So why not, you know? Let's do it in the right one, eh? <laughs> also, a little bit of oil on the trivet. Is it trivet? Yeah, a little rack I made up just to stop things sticking in it. There we are. Okay, lay those in. Same sort of thing with the bacon. Three rashes will do, I think. Using back bacon for this, streaky bacon just doesn't work. Not enough meat on it. And again, a little bit of oil inside. A little bit of oil outside, just, just to keep them moist, to keep them moist. And what you'll do then, just roll them up. Like this. There we are. Lay those down as well. It's a bit awkward doing this, leaning over like this, but you'll get the gist. I want to do in here as well, a little bit of white pudding. So if you ever tried white pudding, it's lovely. Made with pork, oatmeal and... Um, oh, a special blend of spices. Let's have two pieces of that. And what I am going to do with these is stand them up because I found they were better stood up. They went a bit crispy when they were laid down. Okay then, what I'm going to do with the uh, mushrooms, like I said, a little bit of oil again. Just brush them and a piece of butter in the middle of each one. That's all it is. Just stops them drying out. And they're going to go in there as well. Two in there, I'm going to put two in there and the rest in with the eggs. Two. Let's leave those a second. And tomato, if I can fit it in. I'll put this tomato in as well, just to show you if they do cook or not. Right. So like I said, I made some omelettes. Froze them. And all we're going to do now is unwrap them. In a bit of foil. Individually, go away, what? In a bit of foil, nice, just loose, and crimp the ends over, and that can just lay in there on the trivet. And the same with the second one. tomatoes in there and the rest of the mushrooms well that's it guys let me clear this lot away put the food indoors so it don't go off and we'll come back and turn it on okay then so that's the timer set for three hours so that will come on at whatever time you want it really four in the morning five in the morning 
But what you can also do with this, if you're not doing it as an overnight breakfast, you could do this as a brunch. Start it off at eight in the morning to have later on in the day. And then we could do eggs a different way. And all things being well, I'll show you that towards the end. It won't be a overnight breakfast, but it'll be a, a brunchy type breakfast. So let's just show you what's in the pot. We got the sausage mushroom, bacon and white pudding in that one on the trivet. We got the beans and tomatoes in that one in about an inch of water. And we got the omelette, tomatoes, mushrooms in there. And that's on a little trivet as well. I'll come back every hour or so guys and just do a quick, uh, you know, quick video of what's happening. See you soon. Okay then, here we are after one hour. The tomatoes are, um, yeah, they're turning. Let's have a quick touch of the omelette. Yeah, omelette's getting warm and the, uh, the mushrooms are looking good. Right, the tomatoes and um, beans. The temperature's up to well, over 60 Celsius already. And the uh, sausages, etc. Looking good. Yeah. yeah, it always smells good as well. <laughs> right, I'll show you something. Let me just point with this. You see this, the white goo, if you like. I mean, that's a nasty word, isn't it? But that's what, if you don't have a trivet, everything sits in that, and that's where it goes all mushy and horrible. Okay then, back in another hour. Okay, here we are, two hours. Yeah, tomatoes are doing very well. Around about 80, just over 80, that's good. And last up, the sausages, etc. Yeah, they're getting there. Going brown. So there's the eggs, mushrooms and uh, tomatoes. Beans and tomatoes. And, well, I suppose you could call it the fry pot, this one. Sausages, bacon, white pudding and mushrooms, all done. So I think the best thing to do is to uh, dish it up and see what we got, eh? Let's do the non-wet things first. Ooh. Oh, there they're on the bottom. Lovely, lovely. Oh, look at that. Uh, bacon. Lovely. Cool, this is good. This is good, this is good. Couple of mushrooms. Right, get rid of that one. A bit warm that, Steve. Out. Okay. Mushrooms. Now I've done two types of tomato just to show you that you can do both. So these are the. Uh, real tomatoes if you like what would be grilled tomatoes and here's the omelettes oh beautiful ouch 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 <laughs> don't drop it it actually smells lovely as well Right here. Okay then, beans last. Now they're still in the water. Let me get these out all right. Beans and tomatoes. Ow, ow. <laughs> you was going to do that? Oh. Lucky I used to be a welder. Okay, some chopped tomatoes. And some baked beans.
Mm. And a breakfast isn't a breakfast without some brown sauce. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Just salt on the tomatoes. Pepper everywhere. Right guys, down to the taste test, isn't it? So what first? Sausage, got me sausage. Cooked. Hmm, hot enough, hmm? Oh. Yep. Hmm. Bacon. Good idea to roll it up. Look, it stayed nice and moist in the middle. Just like fried bacon. Hmm. A bit of white pudding. Cook through. Hmm. Nice and spicy. The onions coming through there. Hmm. Hmm. And to me, the mushrooms are cooked to perfection. They're lovely. <laughs> this is so easy, guys. Omelette. Hmm. Yep. <coughs> they taste exactly the same as when I made them. A little bit of tomato. Both cooked lovely. Last but not least, the baked beans. Yeah, oh, oh, brilliant guys. Well, for me, that's a midday meal because <laughs> it's um, three o'clock in the afternoon now. But that would work perfectly um, on the timer. Started off at four in the morning. What, what's not to like about that? Now, if you're going to do this as a brunch, you could leave out the omelettes and maybe do um, a coddled egg. Coddle egg is different to poached egg. Poached eggs are done in water. Coddled egg is done in a container, grease container, with the egg in it, and that's put in the water. So you could use the bean water to cook the egg. It'll take about 15 minutes in the slow cooker. And of course you'd have some toast as well, but this is about the slow cooker, isn't it? Um, you have to excuse me, guys. I'm going to finish this off. Hope you like this one, and I hope you try it. A little bit of lateral thinking on my process of getting there, but I'll tell you what, that is proper ants a minute. Take care, guys. Oh, God. Mm. Mm.